Carlos writes in, awesome show. Thank you, Carlos. On your last show, Robert showed that he backed up his Blu-ray movies and DVDs on the separate hard drives on his network so he could stream them to his new home theater PC. What program did you use to do that? I want to buy that program. I have a bunch of DVDs and some Blu-rays I would like to back up and play on my home theater PC. Please help. Thank you, Carlos. Well, mymovies.dk, right? That was well, that was the tool I used to add to Windows Media Center that gave me that interface to navigate my content. That didn't actually do any of the ripping or encoding or anything as far as getting the, the content off the disk and into my, into my storage server. Mm -hmm. What I used for that was just a terrific product from any uh, Slysoft, any DVD HD. A uh, terrific program, not exactly cheap. You can get a two-year license, I think, for about 80 bucks. Right. Or you, you can buy a lifetime license if you dig around in their menu system a little bit. Some of bit. us bought the lifetime license before they had a lifetime license. Look, we mentioned this. I, I have a toddler who likes to fling DVDs and use them as ice skates, which is why I back up my DVDs and Blu-rays now. Do yourself a favor. Do us a favor. Don't pirate content. If you don't own the disc, totally. don't burn it. Don't back it up. I also got to say, uh, are you going to try So any DVD, what did you use on top of any DVD? Because any DVD deals with the encryption. Yeah, they actually offer a free virtual drive. So to take that image file I create, the .iso file, and I want to put that into a virtual disk drive, they actually have a virtual CD drive tool that's free. Huh. You can just download and create all the virtual drives you want. So it's just a cut and paste operation? Uh, it's literally, you just double click on the, once it's associated with ISO files, the virtual drive, you can just double click on it and it mounts it automatically. You hit the eject button on your remote, it'll treat it as ejecting the ISO file off that virtual drive. For all intents and purposes, it, it functions just like an actual physical disk and a physical drive. That's it, pretty cool. It is very cool. I do happen to know for at least until early March, they are having a 20% off sale at, at Slysoft as well. So I think I'm going to actually, I've been working with the trial version for the software, which is good for like three weeks. I think it's time to throw down the money and get the full version, especially yeah. at 20% off. You've been using it. Hey, oh, a, a bunch of people actually emailed in. Uh, media browser of media browser TV, dot, or I guess it's media browser from media browser TV. A bunch of people emailed in like, I can't believe you chose that. The DK oh. stuff. Why yeah. don't you try this? My it's movies prettier. were MediaBrowser.tv. I, I will <laughs> check it out. Yeah, well, I, I like what Marcus says. I'm disappointed you recommended my movies. <laughs> the Media Browser is far prettier if configured properly. Oh. Marcus is disappointed, dude. Heartbreaking. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to you, Marcus. <laughs>